<clears throat> hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. So I've actually had a couple days now to fly and try out the Brother Hobby UC line motor. This is a 2207 motor, um, and I am going to tell you what I think about it. So stay tuned. So before we get too deep into this review, make sure that you've gone back and watched my previous video on the UC motor. The reason why is because in five minutes I go over all the important specs on the motor and I didn't want to sound redundant in this video. So if you haven't seen that yet, the, or the link is going to be in the description below on the first line as well as there's a table of contents down there for this video um, if you want to skip around and see little bits or uh, you know, you, I get it, it's, it's kind of a long video so you don't have to watch the whole thing also real quick make sure you like comment and subscribe all right i won't waste any more of your time enjoy the video all right guys so as you may notice we also have the r6 returner on the table next to the uc um, 2207 um, when i first looked at this motor there's a lot of things that reminded me a lot of the R6. And actually in my initial review, um, I put a comparison side by side of these two motors up. And on paper, they look almost exactly the same. And after getting them and testing it out, uh, I came to the conclusion that this motor is almost exactly the same. They changed three parts to the motor. A, the shaft hole is slightly larger. And if you look at the bell design itself the top like hub of the motor is a lot more shallow um, it actually almost looks like a 2206 when you compare it to this motor because it it is a little bit more shallow however that's just because they took off a lot of metal and made this top hub a lot thinner i do believe that this has a lot to do with weight also it probably kept the cost down because the thickness of that sheet of metal that needed or cube of metal that needs to be machined is a lot smaller now so that might be contributing to some of the costs and the final part that they changed was the set screw on the bottom. Um, the set screws that normally come with the Brother Hobby line are actually quite nice set screws. I've never had an issue with them and my buddy hasn't either. Only bad part was the set screw. And I still believe that that is the weakest part of this motor. However, Smokey FPV was able to let me know that he got a set of these motors and he had no problem taking the set screws off of his. I'm gonna pause the video just for a quick second to give Smokey a shout out. He uh, made a little quick one minute video showing that you can take the set screw out of the motor. That's in the description below if you wanna see it. So I, I'm hoping that just my run or my batch of motors is the issue. And the biggest issue actually is, and I'll put a picture of the screw on the screen right now, but there's just way too much Loctite on this screw for some reason. It was completely caked and therefore I had to put too much pressure and that's what stripped out the screw. The metal is definitely a weaker metal. Um, the, the scratch, the set screw is at least. The other brother hobbies come with this black set screw. Uh, just it's a lot more durable or at least it appears to be a lot more durable. So other than that, uh, if you can get the set screw off, no problem, then this motor is 100% worth every single penny. However, if you can't get that set screw off, it makes the motor pretty much a disposable motor. I mean, you can't change the bell, you can't clean it. It's uh, If for whatever reason a, a magnet slips, you can't glue it back in. It uh, makes it a real pain. Um, but yeah, I'll stop ranting about, about the set screw. These two motors side by side spec wise are exactly the same. The only difference is, is the new one, the UC, believe it or not, the budget one is 1.7 grams lighter. Uh, the other thing that's different is that the mounting screws, the new one, the UC is a 16 by 16 and the R6 returner is a 16 by 19 mounting pattern. Another thing to note is that the bell itself, the profile actually sits lower. So if you are, if you replace, directly replace these or just replace one of these, like let's say you're, you're running the R6s and you destroy one and you want to buy this as a cheaper replacement, 
you can do that, but you will just, you have to realize that your prop's going to be sitting about two millimeters shorter, which I actually swapped out one bell on mine, making that one prop sit that two millimeters higher. I could not tell a difference in flight whatsoever, but if you're really OCD, that might bother you. Another thing to note is that, as you can see, these bells are 100% swappable. In fact, the stator, and I'll show you a picture right now, is identical. The laminations look exactly the same. The bearings look to be exactly the same. The only thing that's slightly different that you can see in these pictures is the windings, but the windings, the reason why they look different is because the R6 motor that I have here is actually the 1550 kV, and like uh, I said, the UC motors are 1750. So the kV is different, which is what is um, what is the reason why those windings look slightly different. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the right now a quick punch out play, so you can see the difference in how the motors handle different props. Uh, the first punch out I'm going to show you guys is going to be the new S4 props um, from FX. Uh, these are really nice. I'm actually going to have a review coming out on these in a little bit. But the overall feel of it is extremely linear. However, the top end is not all there. So for racers, this obviously isn't a prop for you. Um, and this isn't a prop review. Uh, but this, this prop definitely isn't the most efficient on these motors, but it is extremely smooth and I actually flew it quite a bit with these props because I like them. The next punch out you'll see is the gym fan. The gym fan props did quite well. Uh, these are the Wind Dancer 5040s, uh, sorry, the 5043s. Um, these are my kind of go-to props. I absolutely love these props and uh, they have just a little bit more top end than the ethics props did however the biggest issue with these is well especially on falco these props are very likely to become unbalanced in a crash they bend easily and flex off of center and when that happens um with falco it seems to make my setups get a lot hotter than they do on beta flight that's that's just the nature of the beast um so these motors seem to handle these props bent up just fine. I did have quite a few crashes and I did get to test that, but uh, it definitely, definitely something to note. And they definitely handled just fine on the Min Chan Kim props, which is the most aggressive prop I tested on here. Definitely the fastest and actually one of the most efficient props on these motors. So if you were planning on racing these motors, I really do feel paired with the Min Chan Kim props. Uh, that they would do uh, I don't have the perfect pin the perfect pit tune for all these different props it's uh, tuned for the gym fan props and I kind of just threw the air props on there to show you different punch outs um, but yeah nevertheless here's some flight footage it's 1.7 grams lighter which is kind of mind-blowing when you take into consideration that this is only a $15 motor. So it's $15 on top of that, or $15.50. On top of that, it uses the same kind of 70, 75 aluminum for the bell. The shaft is titanium, and they really didn't cut corners anywhere. The only place that I have seen um, look a little different is that the magnets themselves look slightly different. Now, they seem to be the same shape and size however the ones on the r6 have more of a matte finish and the uc have more of a shiny glossed finish um, and they also seem to be slightly less curved or maybe maybe they're not less curved they just they don't seem to have the quite depth as the the r6 if you look at the edges they seem a little bit more round and a little bit less uniform however that inner ring is definitely the same inner ring that's holding those magnets in place and i really do like the brother hobby inner ring design it has those little grooves that helps hold the magnets in place so even if you slip a magnet it's easy to re-glue it back in place which i find to be quite nice and unfortunately with the R6s, 
they do have a tendency to slip magnets. It's not super common, but people do say it happens. And in fact, this bell right here actually did have a slipped magnet that I did glue back in place before flying it. Like I said, if it happens, it's, it's really easy to fix with these bells. All right, the only other real notable difference between these two bells is that since that hub is shorter, the shaft itself is the exact same length, and that means that there is a lot more space where there's not threads on the shaft. The only reason why that's something to know is if you're flying a really shallow prop, like, or not, well, like, a really shallow hubbed prop, like on the uh, um, ethics props, the, either the S3 or the S4, you might have an issue tightening the prop all the way down. Now, if you're using the original nuts, uh, this won't be any issue because the original ones, uh, the original ones are black, and they have this little um, flange on the bottom. But if you have to, for whatever reason, if you drop the nut like I did and have to replace it, the ones without the flange won't work because it'll end up hitting that shaft right there where it's not threaded and it actually won't lock down all the way on the prop. So something to note, however, it's not, like like I said, the, the nut set it comes with, it wasn't an issue. And if for whatever reason you have to use a different nut, you might have to put a little washer or something on there. Um, this does take a full size nut, which to me is very important and it only adds a minuscule amount of weight. Actually here, let's see what the weight difference is. These nuts. So 6.1, and I know that the black ones that it comes with weighs the same. Actually, I think there's 6. Point, or uh, 0. 0.62, uh, not 6.1. Um, and these are 0. 0.42, so 0. 0.2 grams difference. And uh, these are way less likely to spin off. And I really do prefer having that extra amount of shaft for that screw to screw down on. On the original um, R6 motors, you would have a hard time, depending on what prop you use, uh, to use a full size nut, as well as the R6s came with one of these flat nuts. Actually, this is the nut that came with the R6. Also, in the box, you're gonna get a nut and these 12.9 um, hardness steel um, M3 head screws. The, they're the bigger headed screws that a lot of people like. In this box, you get the same thing pretty much, but, or well, this box, when I say this box, I mean the UC one. You get the same thing pretty much. However, you're gonna get that slightly bigger nut um, and this isn't the one that came with it it came with a black one that's just one i had in that box and it comes with these which they say they're 12.9 hardness but i really feel like this is a cheaper metal because it's the same um same off color like that other like the set screw was it's the the shiny silver as opposed to the the black anodized um one that comes on the the r6 so ranting a little bit but there you go, there's all the differences. Alrighty guys, so now that we're at the end of the video, what is my honest opinion about this motor? Well honestly, if you like a 2207, 1750 kV and you fly 6S, then I don't think there's another motor on the market that is a better value where you get everything with no compromises. Well, a little compromise, that set screw was a little questionable. but essentially no compromises. It is lighter than the predecessors. It is the same um, 70, 75 aluminum that we like. It is the same titanium shaft, just a little bit more hollowed out. There, that All in all, this motor is a win, and if for whatever reason it isn't quite as durable or you damage that bell, well, you know what? It's $15.50. Buy a new motor, or if you want to save every last penny, then buy an R6 bell and just replace it. And so what? That one motor is going to be slightly two millimeters taller than the other ones. You're never going to notice it. And if that's going to bother you, here, here's the thought. Buy two bells, replace the back two. That way your back two props are slightly higher up. 
um, and that won't or shouldn't affect any kind of flight performance. If anything, it will make it slightly better because you have more separation um, in your props when you're flying forward. Anyways, I'm ranting at this point, but um, yeah, I feel like this motor is an absolute win and hopefully here soon they will start releasing more KVs. And so unfortunately, I saw Gabriel's comment after I was done editing this video, however it appears that Brother Hobby has created this motor as a limited edition motor and they might not be sticking around forever. Also, we might not see any other KVs other than the one we have now, um, but only time will be able to tell. And maybe a replacement bell so you don't have to fly, you know, a janky uh, R6 bell which is slightly taller than the rest, but anyways. If you liked my video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, go ahead and click on this video up here if you want to see my most recent video updated. Or if you want to, you know, see what YouTube thinks you would like the most, go ahead and click this video. Um, YouTube picked that one for you for some reason, so click that one. Or click this one. But don't wait until the end and let YouTube pick uh, someone else's video to watch. No, pick one of these. I'm waiting.